following program is sponsored by The Greek. It is Radio Shack Theater, 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. Ely Municipal Utilities Board Meeting, August 12, 2021. Very good. Welcome, everybody. Call the uh, Municipal Utility Board of August 12th to order. Please follow me and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Chairman, how are you? <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm, I've got an ongoing uh, concern. I'm on and off the golf course is paid in full for the 190 million gallons of more water that uh, was used as reported by Councilman Jamalwa in one of your earlier uh, board meetings. I want to know how much did they pay in late fees? Are they paying at the same rate? <clears throat> that you have set uh, for other like entities. Article 12 of their uh, most recent contract, I believe, says they must pay all fees and utilities. I, I believe they're failing. I want to remind you that the city cannot discriminate in any federally funded or assisted public utility. I also remind you that the city has yet to rectify the various buildings for me and my family. Again, how many times do I have to tell you that? I want equal protection under the law. If any of you are golfers, come on and remind you you have a problem with the golf course. That money needs to be paid in full. Mr. Chairman, on numerous occasions I have asked for a complete list of those properties that the city has permitted and approved. Uh, the city has RVs parked on the streets, single lots next to homes. They're connected to uh, power, and I'm assuming they call the city to have the water turned on. I want to know if you're billing utilities as you did me at one time. I have yet to receive a permit application so that I and my family can rent our properties to RVs as others do. Again, it appears you guys are discriminating against me and my family. Again, I want equal protection under the law. Your city clerk is not doing the job. <clears throat> I'm going to dig out my old lease contracts with former tenants that I had uh, to evict. Because of your ongoing selective enforcement, you told me I can't have them there, so I responded to that. I'm the only one that I know of that's gotten two citations for $355. And that needs to stop. I pay my taxes. I'm a veteran. It needs to be corrected. If there's a permit, I'll buy it. But you've got to give it to me. Don't let me just go around town seeing all these RVs parked and nothing's being done. I'm going to look those contracts up and I'm going to come in and I'm going to ask for lost revenues. You're not going to treat me like this anymore. Period. Mr. Chairman, uh, the utility building needs to be brought back to the city hall. The city clerk and treasurer are failing to catch errors in a timely manner. You have more staff in city hall than I've ever seen in over 50 years of coming to city hall. You need to hire an accountant with a bachelor's degree. The building to my property at 490 High Street, just for one, has yet to be corrected. The city is selectively enforcing its ordinance and the discrimination needs to be stopped. Thank you. Thank you. We have any other public comment? No other public comment will move on. Page two. Alright. 
consent agenda. These items may be approved in one motion by the board as its first action of business under for discussion of possible action items. Approval of consent agenda approves each of these items. Board members may remove any item from the consent agenda by notifying the board chair. We have a motion to move to approve the consent agenda as of 3A1 minutes of July 8, 2021. I move. We have a motion on the floor. I second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Public comment, please. No public comment. Move on to old business. Board member Robinson of Adam Mines, Company RNMC representative. Discussion only update utility board on the Robinson of Adam development, new fit development, and water mitigation efforts within the city of Newman. An email was um, sent from Frederick Party to Jennifer Lee. Um, Hello, Jennifer. I will not be able to attend tomorrow morning utility board meeting. I am by this email providing you an update on old business. Item B1, roof pit development and water mitigation efforts within the city of Ely. Robinson continues to mine from the roof pit complex. Here's the breakdown of fresh water dewatering effort from the south block. About 11,113 gallons per minute is being pumped. RW7P account for 1,105 gallons per minute, which is sent to the city of Ely. About 5,123 gallons per minute is going into Leeson Creek. The rest is going to the mill for ore processing. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, Frederick. Thank you. Any public comment reference to that? If not, we move on to new business. Uh, Councilman Allworth, discussion for possible action approval for a waiver back charges owed for water sewer landfill fees from 790 out of the line up to $8,035.41. I'm going to pass the gavel to Dale. I have a conflict of interest here about a business relationship. Okay, sir. Jennifer, do you have any discussion? I do. I have a statement regarding this item. It was brought to my attention in May of this year that 790 Avenue Mile was occupied, but the previous tenant's account was terminated in August 2014. The owner, Grissom LLC, has acknowledged their company rented out 790 Avenue Mile the next month. Based upon previous counsel from former city attorney Manuelli, I recommend that Grissom LLC be back billed for all utility charges owed. City Treasurer Trask was in agreement and signed the notification letter. Since the City of Ely notified Bristol LLC of their debt for services provided to 790 Avenue I, City Attorney Cahoon has confirmed that NRS 268.0436 authorizes the City to collect delinquent charges for utility services. Further, Ely City Code 10-2-4A4 states for responsibility. The applicant, being the legal owner, is responsible for the payment of all water charges that the premises applied for and within the meaning of this chapter is referred to as the customer. Only if the original applicant may request termination of water service or a change in the person or address to which the monthly water bill is to be sent. Pursuant to Nevada Revised Statutes 266.2853, the property owner is solely liable for all unpaid water bills even if the property owner has a tenant. It is my recommendation that Brisbane LLC's request to waive utility back charges for 790 Avenue be denied. Thank you. Any
And all those years, these are the bills. 105, 70 credit, past due, zero. Then a letter was sent by Jeanette Trask to Grissom Motel LLC on June 3rd, 2021, stating that we owed 8,035.41. Water, sewer, landfill, outside water, capital improvement, capital water, sewer. I'm telling you, it was shocking, to say the least. The city is ultimately responsible for their billing system, whether it's internal or third party. How are we to know that we owe money if you do not tell us? This would have been resolved a long time ago, but we never had that opportunity. We just feel it's very unfair. Um, Plus, on June 11, 2020, at an Eden City Council meeting, there was another individual in this community that had a similar situation, and his fees were waived. Uh, so to us, that's a great, that case precedence has been set. Um, we respect the fact that one of our partners is affiliated with the city and we honor his request to be I mean, I, I just can't tell you, it's totally shocking. It's like, who's minding the store? Seven years? I respectfully request the ability to address this with the city council tonight. And I ask for your approval. Do you have any questions? Do you want to say anything? I would ask, so for the past seven years, um, it's your claim that the city made a mistake. Is it your request that you then receive free utilities over those seven years? That's not the issue. The issue is that we never had the opportunity to pay it. So now you come back to us after seven years. And then the only other thing I wanted to address was um, the other individual in the community that you had brought up. Uh, there is a distinction between this case and, and that one. There, the, that individual had requested that the water be turned off. Um, and because of that, those penalties were waived. Just for clarification, it was um, a shutoff notice, a uh, monthly shutoff notice. Um, it wasn't shut off um, normally when it would have been, and that's why the council to waive um, charges for a period, not all of his request, um, a certain number of months. He paid for three months. I just feel that, you know, that the city was negligent. How do you not know for seven years that someone's not paid their bill? Please explain that to me. Well, we don't have enough quorum to uh, give a recommendation to the city council, so we'll go to public comment. George, do you have something to say? Um, I was just going to say with the vacancy in the seat, I think we would have a quorum. Uh, open meeting law states that there's there can be a minimum of two people uh, that makes up a public body. I, I believe it's based on number of seats. Is it? Yeah, okay. So Shane, there's five Shane, seats. Yeah, Shane clarified that. Okay. So there's five seats, but we have one, we have three, so we don't right. have. Okay. George? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, just this thing here enforces a lot of problems that I've gone through. I don't think that they should uh, be paying any penalties and interest. They should pay for the seven years, unfortunately. But in my case on the 490, I was charged $746 for outside water and capital improvement, and there's no such animal. You have a problem with staff, you have a problem with experience, and it needs to be addressed. I'm not the only one that's suffering. This lady is too. You need to put in people who know what they're doing. 
Thank you, George. For the record, um, Vice Chairman Murray, um, the city is not charging person from the LLC penalties or interest. It's just the fees and money owed. Correct. Just money owed. So if there's nothing else, I'll turn the yellow back to the Very good. City department reports, board members? Yep. None. Ken? No, sir. Uh, the only comment I have is uh, we're down one member, uh, board member Lily. Uh, appreciate his services that he's provided over the, the years he's been here. Uh, just like to, to recognize him to make sure that uh, he's aware of our appreciation for the work he's done. Hopefully, in the future, maybe uh, the ordinances can be changed to uh, provide either sewer or water or landfill fees. Maybe two of the three might be appropriate. We need more board members. Uh, with that, I'd just like to say thank you, Jimmy. Ken? Nothing, right? No. Uh, City Public Works Supervisors, uh, we have their written reports. Oh, Kirk. Sorry, Kirk. Oh, no report. No reports. I didn't need to buy a cash in. City Water Operator, we have their reports. City Water uh, Sewer Leadman, we have their reports. Uh, I see that in their report there. We have a little bit of an issue with the golf course going over. Overheating and going down, so that's a consideration that maybe we need to address here in the future. Uh, City Landfill Leadman, have his report. City Clerk? Ian Robertson has asked us to place um, another legal notice in the paper um, regarding these utility board OBs. Um, unfortunately, the one individual who had expressed interest, whose name is on the agenda tonight, withdrew his name um, uh, for health reasons. And so um, we will couch the legal notice that um, basically open until filled. So if you know anyone who might be interested in serving, please let them know. Yeah, right. Thank you. City Attorney Bill. I see the leads are still in order. Uh, City Treasurer? Nothing. Nothing. City Engineer? PJ, up front. Put it down. Go stand two close that way. Go stand two close. But George was there exactly in the back. Yeah, so Talking to the mic, I can't hear you. <laughs> the uh, um, couple things is uh, we're working with the uh, fire department to, uh, they're going through an ISO rating that's going on. And so part of the ISO rating is um, our water system. And so uh, we've been coordinating with them. Uh, they are actually doing some more fire hydrant tests, uh, flow tests and such. So, we're compiling that data, helping the fire department come in here. So that's a little bit later, uh, a couple weeks down the road here uh, this month to uh, to do with that. Hopefully that will uh, come out with a good rating because at the end of the day, that rating um, affects basically everybody's in the city's insurance rates. So hopefully uh, we can get a good rating out of that. Um, the other thing that uh, I did have a meeting, I do believe it was last week, um, with the county and the mine discussion was about the, uh, the golf course irrigation well, not our not the city well but the golf course's whole irrigation well and I thought it was a pretty positive meeting it sounds like uh, they're going to try to um, the intention out of that meeting was that hopefully by next spring that the golf course will be on their own well and will no longer be coming off of the city's water uh, with a plan based on that and they uh, um, I believe the county pulled the pump uh, in that irrigation well this week, and the, the mine is coordinating uh, a company to come in and camera that to see what it looks like down the hole. So uh, things are progressing, and so hopefully that was a, um, a, good, uh, a good meeting, a good thing to come from that. Uh, the other thing that I want to express here is that we just got back recently this week the compactions on the, the Murray Street project. Um, unfortunately, the, the compaction report came back in, and the compactions did not meet uh, contract requirements. And so we sent off a letter to the contractor that's saying that, uh, hey, you need to provide us a written uh, plan of how you're going to remedy this and schedule a time frame when they're going to remedy it and also inform them that you're continuing to hold their um, 
tension and also uh, hold and keep their bonds in place until this is ready to take care of. So that will have a direct effect then on the repayment of the market? Uh, well, it will be corrected. It's, it needs to be corrected you know, prior to paving going down for sure. Was, was, that, was the paving of that street, was that contract released? It was released, yes. When was that to be completed? I believe that it's the end of September, maybe, maybe mid October. Okay. Trying, we're trying to be, they're trying to beat the weather. Because okay. when, when it comes to when it comes to paving, weather is the issue. Right. Any other questions? And I guess you got my reports. So the the question on my report as well. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. Another comment? On his report or general? General. Thank you. If you want to comment on his report, you can do that too. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, I want to remind you that the sewer connections that were put on my property on Grand Basin Boulevard, 729, there's two connections on the lower lot, nothing to serve as the upper lot, 733. This is all new construction. I'm just asking for equal opportunity to a service. It doesn't make sense that I've got to run across another person's property 40 to 50 feet and dig up their access at a later time. I just went through a fight with the state. I don't want to do that. The sewer line runs in front of the property. Put the dog on connection in front of the property. That's all I want. I want equal consideration. Mr. Chairman, um, also in a comment that the attorney made to a lady that presented today, whether they thought that, that well, whether that person thought that the city owed uh, or should provide utilities without any cost. I want to remind you, the city needs to answer that question to the golf course. The golf course is not a necessity. It's not a necessity. That's right. You're hearing it from uh, an old Greek guy. I want to remind you, Mr. Chairman, that the city uh, <coughs> has yet to answer my question if the city has collected in full water and sewer services from the historical railroad when they owned the White Pine Trailer Park and it was thousands of gallons, maybe even millions. Mr. Alworth was the, the clerk at that time and he had Jeanette Trask as the treasurer. I also have a concern as whether the city has collected in full from <coughs> utility buildings for the Garnet Mercantile for the uh, outstanding Obeck building, now known as the Art Bank. Again, Councilman Allworth and uh, Jeanette Trask were in office at that time. These concerns are years old. Here we are hammering uh, other individuals almost uh, at a regular uh, meeting, or regular times at different meetings. And that needs to stop. Bring the building back here. We can correct the mistakes. You people are here to serve the people, not beat them up. And that's what is happening. That's got to stop. Uh, I've got nothing back on the 490 linear feet of 16 inch steel pipe from the Murray Street project. Remember that, sir? That needs to come back. I want an answer. I want to know what happened to it. Again, NRS does not allow any public employee or official any preference in any of that material. Uh, <clears throat> I've yet to get an answer on whether or not Tom Lear Power was told they have to move some of their power poles on the yeah, university yeah. project. We do not have ADA on there. It's a new project and it must be addressed. You don't need any federal concerns on your back. Thank you, George. Yes. Um, I'd like to thank Councilman Albert and Councilman Carson for meeting with me. Uh, the mayor called me as well on this issue of our utility bill to this house, but I'd like to thank both of those individuals for their integrity and their time and attention to my problem. Now, I'd like to know, do I have permission to go before the city this evening? Um, it's on the agenda. It's on the agenda. Oh, thank you very much. 
This has been a Georgetown production, George Chatches reported.